Right, so in this video I'm going to be going through the back button on Android and unlike iOS, the Android devices tend to have more than one button and the most common button that I've found is the back button. So what the back button does is when a user is in an app and they press back, what they expect is it to either go to the previous window or close the current overlay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to implement that in Titanium. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'll just fire up the simulator. Okay, so here's the example app, and all it is is a window, and it opens a second window. Then, when we click the back button, it goes to the previous window, we click it here, it just puts a log in the console. So I'll explain what's going on. Right, so what we do is we have this event, event listener, for Android back, and that is when someone clicks the back button. Okay, so within here, you put whatever you want to happen when the user clicks back. So what I tend to do, and works well for me, is on each window, I set a string, and that is to tell me, or the app, what window we're on. So on this window, I've just called it start. Okay, so then in the event listener, what we're doing, we're saying, if the current window is start, then we want to do this and all we're doing is putting that log into the console so if I open that up click the back button you can see it's just writing that console log if for whatever reason you don't put any of that in at all no event listener for Android back then when a user clicks back what's going to happen is the app's just going to close so you don't you don't really want that you want to control those sort of things so in the win2 what we've got is we've got the same event listener but this time we're setting the current string to win2 then in the function we're saying if win2 what we want to do is we're putting a little log there but what we really want to do is we want to close the window null it and then reset the string back to start okay so then that's how the app knows that we're back at the start page start window whatever so let's do that again so page one we click it just gives us that log. We click open win2. We go to the second window and click back. We go back to the first window and we get the log. Okay. So I hope that all makes sense. Um, yeah, that's really it. There's not much to it really. And with this, then you can control the flow of your app. So if you open an overlay, you can have some functionality where pressing back just closes the overlay but stays on the same window. Whatever you want. Just gives you that control and gives the app the feel of what the user expects okay 